People always think there is no value to water. And what motivates me is that I want to give water a value. As a water sommelier, I'm an advocate to water, our most important beverage on this planet. What a lot of people always think, water sommelier? No way. That has to be from the onion or something like this. This cannot be real. Martin, I heard about you and I was fascinated. You are a water sommelier. Correct. And you believe uh, that there are many types of water and flavors of water and that it's important to know the distinction. I'm not even believing in that. I think there is, actually. It's a, it's a fact. Ooh, uh, here we go. <laughs> it's water. Great. <laughs> it's water. It. I love it. When I started this whole water concept in 2012, here in Los Angeles, there, everybody said, only in LA there is a water summer game. And then I said to the people, Naya, only in LA, people think water has no value, but they're living in the desert. I've been certified as a water sommelier from the German Water Trade Association. And I came over to the States on an O1 visa for extraordinary abilities. A lot of people don't even know that water has a TDS level, and this stands for total dissolved solids. How many mils actually combine in a water, and there is no pure water and I, I go always crazy when people are saying oh yeah water needs to be pure and then you're calling suddenly it purified water and no no it is the best you can drink because pure it needs to be pure that doesn't come from other nature it's a processed product processed food this kind of bottled water where it belongs is the trash can I trash it LA tap water has way more electrolytes than every single purified water so I have to choose between purified and LA tap. I would go for LA tap. In Guangzhou, I'm invited as a water sommelier to taste a lot of different spring and mineral waters in a big water tasting competition. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and friends, good afternoon. Welcome to 2016 Guangzhou International Water Tasting Competition. I'm Yvonne, your host is today. Guangzhou is the first time that we implemented the system of the different TDS levels and judging the different waters to it. Never been done before, this worldwide recognition from different sommeliers around the world, joining in one place and then judging the different categories. I realized when I was four years old that water has taste. When I went on vacation time with my parents in the different cities, all over Europe, the tap water tasted differently. So my parents always thought, like, what's wrong with our son? Why is he running to the sink right away? He's always thirsty, maybe he has some issues or something like this. It was not about hydration, it was about taste for me. And this all depends on the different middle levels. When I'm tasting waters, it's likely all my visuals are starting to race. It's not just about taste, it's even about my eyes and my nose. I'm always putting a very big chunk of water in my mouth and to drink it as a normal person who would do it, to just have a feeling of that water. And then most of the times I'm doing a second sip and then I'm swirling around my mouth and I'm adding oxygen to it because oxygen helps the water to grow, the same with wine. That's the reason we're slurping and sounds sometimes like very weird when people are doing this and they think like, oh, John, look at the sommelier, they're like. Pfft. So we just sat in water, it was so distinctive, it was amazing even for me. I never had that before. It was so fruity, you thought like you're on the tropical islands and like smelling like coconuts. It's insane. That was literally insane. I gave that water a 99 because I love water who has a characteristic to it. When I ranked the waters, 
I looked for distinctive taste in that water. And when you're drinking, your eyes will open right away and like fascinating about how Mother Nature can create this for you. I think it will be a good standard for the future for, for people to follow oh, yeah. what we're doing yeah. and not have some journalists or some random it's, people from the street. Crazy. It's crazy. Because you wouldn't do this with wine, right? But you do no. it to water. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, and then it showcases again, like, oh, by water, they don't need professionals. Everybody can do it. It's like, no, no it's like, not. there's a science behind this as well. In China, there are various standards for water production. So in the, usually the back label contains a lot of messages. So it's interesting, it looks like there's more information from the consumer actually on bottled water here in China than in the States. Yes, it, it contains a lot of information, even just a bottle of purified water. That's incredible. In the States, yes. when you're thinking like, we're living in one of the most healthiest countries in the, on this planet and now it's almost standard to say oh, but make sure your water is filtered. I think it's sad. In China and in Asia in general, the, the importance of water is already on a completely different level. China is very aggressive when it comes to bottled water. They are already thinking like, yes, absolutely, water is not just water. We need to push the envelope there. There's way more structure to it. There's very hard regulations as well when it comes to bottled water, what I saw so far. And I think for two reasons. Obviously, there are so many people living there. And I think they're realizing as well how important water is for their life being as well. Thank you very much. Good morning. Today we celebrate water. Water is not just water. We do respect food, we do respect wine, and I think it's just about time to respect water as much as the other two. And all the judges unanimously agree that we set a new standard here today for how water should be treated in a water tasting. Yesterday we tasted about 60 different waters, international and domestic, and I'm very excited to tell you that the results are in. Oh, it's fine. It's good. I'm I mean, happy for good. them all. It was a little bit slow at the beginning, kind of, but then we got into the routine. Ice water. It's almost like a celebrity status what I have here in Guangzhou. It's kind of scary almost. I'm here to hydrate people. And I never thought that you can become a celebrity with water. Yeah, one, three, two, one, cheer! Cheer for the good future! Wish for the good future, everything goes well. We have to do something in America as well. The American market, we, we will, I will talk to a CAA about this as well. There's definitely chances to really celebrate water in the right way. Water is way more important than anybody thinks. And we strongly believe that we are on the right track to really move the whole water movement forward. Ah. 
water should not be a luxury product. Water should be a human right and water will be the next huge big thing. I think my goal is achieved when Lisa Simpson suddenly tells Homer Simpson that water has a taste and maybe suddenly I will show up as a character and we'll do a water taste test. Stay hydrated America with me and let's have some fun with water. Now I have to go to the restroom. <laughs> Talk about water all the time. It's like <laughs>